Are you somebody who has been affected by falls or are you somebody who that is worried about tripping or, or falling? Or are you a loved one or do you have a loved one who is at risk of a fall? Well today I'm going to talk to you about five things that you are going to be able to change and look after if you want to prepare and help reduce that risk of falls. I'm Gavin Noble from Gavin Noble Physiotherapy and here at the 10X Physio channel. We have lots of information on here that can help you on a daily basis to help improve your health. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive in and I'm gonna tell you all about those five things that you're gonna be able to do that's gonna help prevent trips and falls. So my first top tip for fall proofing your home is to remove all those hazards around the house. And you generally find these hazards in our five main living areas in the house. So in the living room, on the stairs, or even if you maybe have a step, uh, you've got your kitchen, your bathroom, and your bedroom. So you want to remove all kinds of hazards that you may succumb to tripping on, things like mats, things like rugs, and you even might want to look out for plant pots that might be on the floor. You want to remove all of these, even mats at the, the front door are risks that you just don't want to have to deal with and should be removed to help prevent any falls. So the next top tip for helping to prevent falls is to strengthen your legs. Okay, I'm a, we talk about strengthening the legs, we talk about strengthening into your ankles, strengthening into the knees, and strengthening into those hips. So they're key, key areas that you need to look at, and you can do nice, simple, easy exercises which will help with that. And you also find that there is some balance type exercises that you can do, so please check out some of the other videos on the channel here, which are designed to help you strengthen the legs and to help increase that balance control. My next top tip to help improve your um, balance and prevent that risk of a fall is to improve your posture. So as we all get older, we, we do lose a little bit of height in our spines. You can tend to find a lot of people become more hunched, more rounded, so coming forward here like this, um, which just can sometimes bring that body weight forward over the feet, which can lead us to a more increased chance of falling forward, which is really not what we want. Um, nobody wants to fall because they do have those associated risks of fractures like fractured hip. You know, they'd be some of the most common breaks uh, when people fall. So we, we want to cut that out. So when you improve your posture, we want to think about bringing ourselves into a more upright position. Okay, And there are exercises that you can do for this. Um, again, if you just check on the channel here, they are there for you, so please check them out. Get started into doing them because they will help prevent those falls. Okay, and then we move into our next uh, top tip. So what I'd really like you all to do is to review your medication. And you can review your medication with your family and with your GP. So make sure that you are reading things like the side effects of any medication that you're currently taking. 
because some of the side effects can be dizziness and when you're dizzy you are at more risk of falling so speak to your GP speak to some of your family members who can help you understand and, and maybe read uh, small print in a lot of your medication because it is so important if anything does need change then you all have GPs which can really help you there so get your medication reviewed and then finally we move into my last top tip which is to exercise regularly I know I have talked about strengthening the legs but if you manage to have a nice daily routine where you exercise regularly that will help to keep the body strong it helps to keep the mind active as well so if you think about things like walking regularly uh, even if you do things like Pilates or yoga you want to be doing things which stretch the body again that will help with posture and obviously things that help to strengthen the body so again that's where we come back to all that leg strength work so exercise regularly is such an important factor when you look at preventing those falls and maintaining and keeping a good balance so keep up the good work and exercise regularly so there you have it there's my five top tips to help improve your balance and prevent falls again please have a look on the channel for more top tips and more strengthening and balance exercises you'll get them all here remember all the information that we give on the channel is free and please feel free share that with your friends and family and anybody who you know who you feel could do with a little bit of help and please subscribe to our channel get notified of all our videos as they come out on a weekly basis you'll be able to see lots of fresh content and again feel free to share it too so i'm gavin noble from gavin noble physiotherapy and you're here at the tedx physio channel i'll see you next time in the next video